A'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem Bismillahir rahmanir rahim Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh believers Briefly allow me to look at uh, uh, Imam Ali Zainal Abidin alayhi salatu wasalam the fourth Shia ibn Ashara Imam as we say in Sahih Muslim volume 2 page number 238 that prophet left us among two heavyweight Quran and uh, the Al-Bayt alayhi salatu wasalam and as we also saw uh, in Quran chapter 4 verse number 59 that Atiullah Atiur Rasul wa ulul amri minkum that uh, when this verse which says that we have to obey Allah apostle and those in authority Ibn Abbas asks prophet that for man ulul amri the two are those in authority uh, we saw that prophet named all of them starting with Imam Ali Imam Hassan up to the Tolovu Shia Ithna Ashara Imam Imam Muhammad Al Mahdi Ajal Allah Ta'ala Faraja Sharif you can find it in uh, the Sunni Brothers book called Yanabi Ulimawadda and Ikmaluddin. Uh, that tradition is found there. To go on, still, we saw that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is done responsible for creating mankind and choosing for him divine leaders. In Quran chapter 28, verse number 68. Therefore, this one nullifies the other claim that sort of sure verse number 38, which the, uh, the Sunni brothers claim that. Uh, uh, it tells them it tells them that uh, Sahabas had to endorse themselves. This verse is not about telling us to choose among ourselves success or prophet, no. But it's telling us just to solve our matters amicably, as you see the word Amru home, two words, Amru affairs, then whom our affairs. Therefore our affairs, like in case in like in case we get some misunderstanding, we can sit and solve our issues amicably as Islam means peace. To go on still, we see that therefore the immediate success of Prophet Muhammad were Ahl Bayt and Holy Quran. And among those Ahl Bayt, Imam Ali Zain al Abidin becomes the fourth Shia, Ithina Ashar Imam. To go on, Imam Ali Zain al Abidin, his father was Imam Ali Hussein alayhi salatu wasalam, then his mother was Bibi Shahari Banu. Bibi Shahari Banu. Imam Ali Zain al Abidin was born on the 15th Jamad al Awal in the year of 38 Hijriya. 30 eighth year of Hijriya, which corresponds to 658 AD. Then his martyrdom happened on the 25th of Muharram, 95, in the year of 95 Hijriya, or 95th year of Hijriya, which corresponds to 713 AD. He was martyred by Abu Ablu, by Abu um, Abul Malik. He spent 34 years of Imamat, then by the time he passed on, he was 57 years and he's buried in Jannah to Baki in Medina. He was Imam Zain Abidin was present in Karbala where we see Imam Hussein defended and stood against the Tani regime of Mayyadis under Yazid. Imam Ali Zain Abidin accompanied, you understand, accompanied Imam Ali Hussein alayhi salatu wasalam and the likes of Zainab they did accompany uh, Imam Ali Hussein. Imam Ali Zain Abidin and uh, the likes of Zainab Alayhi salatu wasalam and uh, Imam Muhammad al Bakr, all of them accompanied Imam Hussein alayhi salatu wasalam in Karubala. Remember, we said that uh, fighting, you understand, in case you've been oppressed, in case you've been fought, is in place, as we saw in Surah Al Hajj, verse number 39, that Udhina lilladhina yuqatalona bi annahum zulim wa inna Allah ala nasrihim la qadir. That in case you've been oppressed, you've been corrupted, you have to defend. Yosuf and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will have to assist your message. Therefore, when Imam Ali Zainal Abidin accompanied his brother, he just fo he, he, he was following this in Quranic law. Even in Quranic chapter 9, verse number 71, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that uh, we should always stand to forbid evil and command doing of good actions, something which leads us to be forgiven by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in Quranic chapter 9. Verse number 71. And in case you do command good and forbid evil, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgives you, increases your sustenance, blesses you with good offsprings, good wife, good marriage partners, gives you paradise and the rest in short to know verse number 10 to tell of. Therefore, as we go on, we also see that in case Yazid may be stood against the Albait, you understand in Karbala, Yazid. And uh, yet we see that in Quranic chapter 2, verse number 124, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, that mean his promise does not go near to the unjust one. Yazid was unjust one, a tyrant. 
who who killed each and everyone including children like Ali al Asghar, Ali al Akbar, and others. Therefore, this person Yazid shouldn't even be applauded in Islamic history. To go on, we see that Imam Ali Zain al Abidin in the palace of Yazid during that time of Adhan when they said Ashadu Anna Muhammadan Rasulullah, he stood and asked Yazid, Is this person being mentioned in Adhan your grandfather or is my grandfather? Father Yazid kept quiet and people started realizing the bad side of Yazid. We also see Zainab still in the same palace because after the battle of Karbala, Yazid, I mean, uh, because we see after the battle of Karbala, Imam Ali Zainal Abidin and uh, Zainab, Rukaya and others were taken as captives. You understand after the war. We also, we also see Zainab salam, in Bihal and World standing against him the Italian regime of Yazid by saying Fakidu Kaidaka for Wallahi la tamuhu dhikrana skim whatever you want do whatever you want but I swear upon Allah's name that you will not wipe off our remembrance we are bait because loving and emulating us we are bait was made mandatory by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in Quran chapter 42 verse number 23 there are for all these khutbas of Imam Ali Zainabidin of Zainab silenced Yazid and uh, it woke it woken up the sleeping mindset of those people who were supporting him. To go on still, therefore whatever this albeit we are doing was in line with Holy Quran which or speaks against tyranny. You understand that we shouldn't oppress people, we shouldn't fight people and the rest as we saw in Surah Al Hajj verse number 39. Among the works of Imam Ali Zainal Abidin, we see a book called Risalat al Hukuk, a book which speaks about the social and religious responsibilities. You can also call it Treatise on Rights. It speaks about the rights of different things like the body parts, among others. So it's a good book which was written or which was uh, which was written by Imam Ali Zainal Abidin. We also see another book. From among the works of Imam Ali Zainal Abidin called Sahifa Sajjadiyya. You understand? A, a book speaking about different supplications and how to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and how to supplicate to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as Allah commands us in Surah Al-Ghafil, verse number 60, that we should call upon him and he does answer us. As also Imam Ali Ibn Abi Talib alayhi sallallahu wa sallam tells us that man qara'a bab Allah futalahu that however knocks the door of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah opens it for him. Therefore, among the good supplications we, we can use to call upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can be found in Sahifa, Sajjadiyya, a book which is also available online on the internet. To go further still, we see that uh, prior to the death of, uh, before the death of Imam Ali Zainal Abidin, he left, you understand, his will, his successor, and he was to be Imam Muhammad Bakil alayhi salatu wasalam, the Shia fifth Imam. You understand? But the people of his time defied Imam Muhammad al Bakil and they went with another son of Imam Ali Zan Labidin called Zaid bun Ali. You understand? B because for them, the, uh, because, uh, because for them, these are Zaids. You understand? Number one, for them, they say that. Uh, and Imam, you understand, it's not necessary that can be infallible. You understand? And uh, this ideology of them does contradict his Quran chapter 33, verse number 1, which says that we shouldn't obey hypocrites and uh, disbelievers. Then it also contradicts with Quran chapter 2, verse number uh, 124, where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, that, mean that his promise does not go this promise of choosing prophets and uh, the immediate successors does not go near you understand near to the sinful ones still here remember that as we saw that uh, the will of prophet muhammad was in nitari kufiku mathakala in kitab allah wa itrati that uh, prophet left us among two heavyweights holy quran and uh, the albayt alayhi salatu wasalam whom they are following and loving was made mandatory in quran chapter 42 Verse number 23. And we also said that even though a successor 
of any given prophet is not a prophet himself. Mathalan, an example. Dalbait alayhi msoto sam to Prophet Muhammad are his immediate successors. But Dalbait from starting from Imam Ali up to Imam Muhammad al Mahdi, the twelfth Imam, even though they are not prophets, but still Allah endorses them. Allah chooses them, as we also saw that Allah chose King Talut, who wasn't a prophet, but he made him to become the immediate success of Nabi Yushabunun in Quran chapter 2, verse number 246 to 248. There are for those people who defied the will of, of the, there are for those people who defied the will of uh, Imam Zainal Abidin, uh, which he told them that uh, they have to follow Imam Muhammad al bakil and those people defied and fought the son, uh, another son of Imam Muhammad Bakil called Zaid Bun Ali because he went and avenged for the martyrdom of um, Imam al Hussein. They made a mistake. The commands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala regarding choosing leaders, only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one responsible for choosing leaders and uh, uh, for choosing leaders like prophets and their immediate successors, as we saw in Quran chapter 28, verse number 68. The beliefs of these Zaids, another belief, as we saw that they don't, they, for them, they believe that uh, even a sinner can become Imam. They also believe that it's not necessary that Allah has to choose leaders. We see that no, you understand, because in Quran chapter 28, verse number 68, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not responsible for choosing divine leaders they do also uh there are more other things they don't believe in like uh, taklid uh emulation you understand emulation uh they don't also believe in uh, nikah Muta, which we saw that is in lane in the Quran chapter uh for verse number 24 for them they call all those things not to be in place yet quran speaks about then, in brief, Imam Ali Zainal Abidin is among those people whom we saw that uh, Prophet left us among to be his immediate successors in, in Sahih Muslim, volume 2, page number 238. And it's also among these people we see in our son reference books that uh, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallama told us that Yakunu ba'adi ithina ashara a'ima kulluhum min bani hashim that after him there will be to love leaders from imam ali up to imam muhammad up to imam muhammad up to imam muhammad al-mahdi ajalallahu ta'ala faraja as we saw the tradition in sahih al-bukhal and the other books finally imam imam ali zainal abidin the shia fourth imam is also among these people we saw in mustadrak you understand uh, volume 2 page number 243 and also Jami as page number 132, where and also from Kanzul, Umar, whom we saw that Prophet Muhammad said that Mathalu Ahal Bayt, you understand, Mathal Ahal Bayt fi Ummati, Mathalu Safinati North, Man Rakbaha Naja, Wa Man Ragiba Maniha Alaka. That's the example of my Ahal Bayt in my Ummah, Islam, I like those people over Nabi Noho, I like the, uh, I like the, that ship, you understand, of Nabi Noho, whoever entered it was saved, and whoever turned against it was destroyed. Therefore, in case you attach yourself to al bayt you will not be destroyed. We ask, we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to accept all our works. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu.